Maybe. You should pull the fucking trigger. Pull the trigger. Ain't nobody gonna do for you. Hey, what's up, guys? Tim Nomad Zandy here, and I'm sorry the video is late today. I'm at my house, so my internet is inherently slower here, so it does take a little while longer to upload. But on top of that, uh, I had to rewatch this episode two and a half times. So, to fully understand most of it, which I still don't think I caught every little reference here and there, uh, I'm probably going to watch it again after this review, but... There's so much in this episode that's insane. We start off with Rachel and Zach about to walk through like the door like we had with the last episode ending. And, you know, Rachel's scared. She's like, let's not go. We'll stop. What, do, what can I do to get them to stop? And Zach walks in the door and sees Rachel's parents, which it's never stated that that's her parents, but we all know that's her parents. Now, there's one major piece of evidence on her parents' bodies that leads to the very end, which is what this whole episode centered around, Rachel's secret. So, the intro plays, whatever, and Rachel sees the Bible and passes out. So, Zach's kind of on his own here, and he goes off to try to find the exit. Well, as soon as Zach walks through the door, Danny, like, tr he, Danny traps him in the other room. And I don't know what these doors are made of, but Zach can't break it. So Danny wakes up Rachel and they start watching a little camera or whatever to watch over Zach. And so Zach goes around this booby-trapped house trying to find the exit, pretty much. That way he can get back to her. Because Danny tells him, if you can find out everything about her, I'll let you, I'll, you know, I'll let you have her. And we can all, or you two can get out. So... Ugh. This episode got me so pumped up. Anyway, so we start seeing a little clues here and there that, yes, that is Rachel's parents. But, Zach, remember, he has no idea who this is. And he, the house is booby-trapped, so it's starting to, like, you know, there's fucking shit shooting out of the walls. The floors are caving in. The walls are caving in. There's piranha. And pretty much, Zach found this little cubby hole that he couldn't get to. And right as Zach was about to die here... Gray saves him. Gray saved Zack from dying, falling into that pit of spikes. So that was crazy. But, you know, then Rachel wakes up and Danny, like, he's laughing craziness and he stops her from leaving. And they start watching this tape of Zack. Then we get the whole speech with Gray and this honestly fucked me up. Because I'm not sure if it's just the way Gray talks, but he basically says he's the god of this world because he created it. Now, I thought this was hell. I thought this was some kind of supernatural hell place. Because, you know, that's what most of the characters kind of did. They were like, supernatural shit. But he talks about how, um, you know, God is not the who he truly seems to be, and that's why he plays the position of God. And, oh my God, it's, everything's coming full circle now. But, <laughs> Zach is kind of like, you know, he's still pissed off. Ugh, excuse me. And Gray explains to him that's why, you know, him, Kathy, Eddie, and Danny are all angels. Because he saved them. This is his doing. This is his world. That's why he's God. Then we get a bunch of flashbacks of Zack because he basically... Gray tells him, he's like, I thought you wanted out of here, but now you want to get out of here with the girl? And then he's like, you know, Zack's a hard type. He's like, no, you fuck off, man. But, um... Excuse me. Excuse me. Hold on one second. I thought I had a sneeze, but I guess I don't. Um, anyway, though, then we get to the final scene here. Uh, basically, right before this whole reveal of what's Rachel's big secret, uh, Eddie is... Or no, Danny. Eddie. <laughs> Danny is watching the tape over Zach. And Rachel tries to sneak out while Danny's doing one of his maniacal laughs. 
and yeah it doesn't work out too well for the home team she gets caught and brought back and they're watching and Zach finds this picture that says Rachel Gardner on it but remember Zach can't read so he opens this little music box and it plays the most ominous music ever like if you haven't watched this episode watch it Crunchyroll is well worth it anyway but you need to watch this episode to hear this music anyway though so in the box he finds this like plate thing that says Rachel Gardner and he puts two and two together so he opens the door he gets it open and you know he goes in and he sees this TV report and the report is basically Rachel's parents death uh, it talks about how their bodies were found with holes and knife wounds and gun wounds all out you know all throughout them but their body was sewn back together. So it's like, oh my God. So now everyone knows Rachel's big secret, which I'm not sure if she killed her parents or she just sewed them back together after they were dead. It's not 100% clear on that, but it's pretty self-explanatory that she was the one who sewed them together nonetheless. So this episode also says to be continued, so I cannot wait till next week to find the big reveal. So uh, yeah, if you like this video or you like what I'm trying to do here on this channel, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I guess I'll catch you guys next week for the probably the last episode of Angels of Death, if not the second to last. Anyway, peace out.